Austin. Hi, Dylan. Where are we at? We're in Chicago. We're in beautiful Chicago, Illinois, at the Art Institute right now for some reason. We had no plan. Apparently, Riot Fest is happening right now. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Didn't know that at all. Just checking out the trains in the beautiful city. We're going to go to the Bean right now let you see everything that we've done so far. We've been asked by someone already <laughs> to shoot a music video. In five minutes of being here. Like the first here. interaction we had and the dude wants to do a whole video. It's only one scene, so it'd be easy. And he asked for one hour and I was like, I can do anything in one hour. No, we wanted to fly, but oh, yeah. everything was booked and we ended up just kind of driving it. And we have a better plan. We have a better plan, we have more things. Now we have to make a song today and shoot a music video for it today. today. So that's gonna be interesting. What the heck are we doing, Austin? I don't even know where we are. We're just in Chicago and found this thing. We're getting big shots of faces. Oh, the, I don't even know the faces moved. <laughs> yes, the faces moved. The faces moved. Trying to get a sick shot over here of you and that together. She looks so dead inside. Yeah, just like all of us. <laughs> just like me. <laughs> dead inside. Whoa. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Don't know what I thought. Oh, look! <laughs> it's her spitting the water out. Ew, gross. It's spittle. I understand the coolness of this wall, but why make it someone spitting out water? It's I don't weird, know. but it's cool at the same time. I like it. I like to think they're, uh, the city's creative. <laughs> and then she's laughing. She laughed at us for spitting on us. What, what, what is example that? is that setting? Is that a projector or what is that? It's a TV screen behind lumen like oh, blocks okay. that are see-through. Oh my God, yeah, that guy yeah. is terrifying. Jim is really upset. Oh my God, ew, 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 ew. I hate everything about that, ew. Oh, what a <laughs> smile. It was so slow. <laughs> it almost looks like an ugly Ryan Gosling. It might be Ryan Gosling. Shit, you never know. I'm sure there's, a, oh, there's a face on this side too, but it's like, uh, really hard to see. It's actually easier to see in my camera. Alright, so we just saw my dream car, a Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, and I loved it. I could not get any shots of it because, you know, 
Don't want to die. Chicago's busy. I got one picture. You got one picture of it. Here it is. It's great. Anyways, I get to see my dream car. I'm so happy. But now, I'm absolutely starving. Like, we've been running around with all this equipment all day. We haven't had anything since we got here. And he's been trying to pee. I've had to pee time. for three hours now. Uh, yes, yes, three hours. I guess we'll go, we'll cross the street and then we'll uh, grab some food and you can use the bathroom and then we yeah. can continue on. We have not even gone into the city yet. We've been here for like a couple hours. Yeah, and we've went maybe a mile down the road. We've, oh, we have filmed <laughs> the entire time, but man, it just seems like there's so much to film here. We could definitely come back here over and over and do more things every day. Yeah, no doubt. So, uh, so. on to food. On to food, I'm hungry, food gotta be. I saw something about a C8. Did you see, uh, there was a guy, he was filming the inside of his C8 when it was raining. What do you mean? He was literally in his C8 and he's like, these cars are amazing, but you cannot drive them in the rain. Because it was just leaking, like, really bad. Really? The new C8? Yeah. That's wild. Maybe he just got some kind of defective thing, but... It's not supposed to do that. Yeah. It's really not supposed to like, do it that. Like, was, it was pouring. Like, he, you need a bucket under it. <laughs> That's not good. But a C8, uh, I would honestly love, like, an early Supra, but I honestly love the new Supras, too. As in a Mark IV Supra. Maybe. I don't know what an R4 Supra is. You said an early Supra, and an early Supra is Mark 1, 2, or 3. The 4 is the one that everybody wants. That's okay. like $150,000. Yeah, that one. Oh, yes. This sounds great right now. Coming this way. All right, let's go. <clears throat> I don't know why this sounds so good right now, what but is it? I want it. You're just gonna see it when we walk up to it. All right. It's something that we have at home, so it's nothing special. Nothing special, but it sounds delicious. Yes. I have no idea what it is. I'm assuming it's, um, it's cluckers. No. <laughs> yeah. It starts with a B. No, cluckers is great. It starts with, oh my gosh. Someone has a Husqvarna 401. <laughs> That's cool. I love that. He's just naming all the names. I'm just, oh, there's a motorcycle. Ah, uh, it's got water dripping on it too. It sucks. Cool for a shot. It doesn't look very comfortable though. Kid me, it's like one of the most comfortable bikes to ride. Maybe not. It's also one of the most affordable bikes. It's like $5,000. stadium goods here and I'm making Dylan go with me because I want to see it. Yes, I have never seen stadium goods. Don't know what it is. Don't know what it's about. I have zero clue or I have a little interest because I just want some shoes that I like, but I don't want to pay a bajillion dollars for them. They're, they're not a bajillion. They're only a million. A million bajillion. <laughs> a billion bajillion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not that much. So on our way, waiting for the train. Let's to go. To the convenience stores of Speedway. Just left Stadium Goods. And? And it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. They're they were reasonable <laughs> on my set of shoes. Mine? Usually new. Okay, it's the off-white Hollows Eve. Usually, if I wanted to get them new online, like 770, whatnot. But I looked in their store, and as soon as he told me the price, I about freaked out. He about laughed. $1,700 for a $700 pair of shoes. And I I tried to hold it in and act like I might have that much money, but no. 
I'm not paying no extra grand to get them in hand right now. To get a, yeah, to get a set of shoes that you can buy brand new from somewhere else for the same price. Well, it's $1,000 less. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like the people that shop there, they really have money because they're getting, they're getting shoes that are already expensive for like double their price. Yes. I mean, mine were, he, he said mine were like 950 or like 970 and then they retail for a thousand. Yeah. So they must have bought them pretty cheap, but that's ridiculous. I mean, can you fucking believe they're gonna give you, put a thousand dollars on top of a set of shoes that aren't even worth a thousand dollars? That's ridiculous. There's so much money. He told me that and I just wanted to smack him in the face. Like you're a liar. <laughs> yeah, that is absolute bullshit. So that's my stadium goods experience from Chicago. Yeah. And they wouldn't let us go upstairs, which I saw they had like a Supreme backpack and I wanted to see it, but apparently we're not allowed to. Yeah, they had the upstairs blocked off with all the clothes and then they told us we weren't allowed to take video or pictures. Which I took all the pictures and video of everything. <laughs> that we here. don't have right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this thing. What in the it's world? It's turboed. <laughs> I heard the turbo. That's great. It's like a, uh, a trike for three people. Trike for three people, and it almost had a rear end of a car, and it was turboed. And it was lowered, big time. That dude felt like a pimp. Somehow we found a beach, Dylan. Oh yeah? Didn't really know there was, I guess, I knew there was beaches, but not like this close into the city. Oh yeah, we're in Florida. It's like right outside of everything. Pretty nice little beach going into Lake Michigan, though. We go and take. Oh. We go play footsies in the sand. Hell yeah. <laughs> we got lucky with the hotel for the night. Hell yeah. Sleep. Possibly. Hopefully, we can sleep four hours. <sighs> four? <laughs> what? I'm disappointed. We're at a red roof inn. Uh, we really thought we were not gonna get anything because we called probably about six or seven hostels all together and all of them were completely booked. Thanks Riot Fest. Thanks Riot Fest, we didn't know you were happening. Next week's uh, Honor of the Life in Kentucky. It's gonna be great. That'll be sick, I wanna be there Sunday. It's better than Riot Fest, I've seen the lineup. Totally agree. Uh, there's like three bands that I care to see here. And and a band named Come Girl 8. And there's four of them. You gotta really, yeah, you gotta really put the eight in there. I don't understand it. Um, and they have 6,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. Uh, like 20 followers on Instagram. Tell me why they're on Riot Fest. One of them are gonna watch this video. Come Girl's great, okay? <laughs> but I'm just, I don't know how they got on it, that's all. Alternative press. Probably. See you in the morning. We decided to uh, not film a lot of things. We were a little busy. But uh, so far, this trip has ended with, this morning we were sitting in the Starbucks for two hours, two and a half hours for writing a song which we're currently recording a music video i got my parts done you'll see some of them here but we're about to be starting to film his yeah we're gonna probably record this online he's uh, messing up his own song because he likes to make things complicated I made it very complicated <laughs> in the span of two hours I'm sorry me self and you it took me like five five maybe good takes i'll show the drum kit portion Drums, big part, but now we're going to go film him.